Simon, I have been a good wife to you, haven't I? Hmm. I'd have to sit and think hard about that for a moment. <laughs> You've been a tolerably good wife. We live a tolerably good life. And I'm satisfied enough, I suppose. It's a tolerably nice thing to be kissed upon the cheek every time that I come home by Mary Rose. There may have been some times of disagreement. You may have thrown a butter dish or two. But I wouldn't want to tolerate this tolerably good life with any other love but tolerable you. What I'd like to know is, have I been an excellent husband? Hmm, I have to say, tolerable, just barely. You are a tolerably nice boy who brings me tolerably nice joy. I can stand it if I kneel and pray for strength. It's a tolerably good thing when you hold me in your arms and you tell me how you love me so at length. There may be times that I felt discontented when I would wish you weren't off at sea. But I wouldn't want to tolerate this tolerably good life without the only tolerable love for me. <laughs> Simon, I've been wondering. Yes, Mary Rose? Are we being good enough parents to our little Harry? Oh, if he was here right now, I don't doubt that he'd tell us. You've been a tolerably good mum and a tolerably good dad. So I'll keep the both of you around. And he's growing up to be quite a tolerably sweet lad. In the home in which our sweet son's found, Heaven knows what waits around the corner, what the fates are keeping out of you. But whatever might be waiting, never doubt I'll be tolerably happy, tolerably ecstatically happy, tolerably ecstatically blissfully happy to tolerate the tolerable fate with tolerable you.